Hey guys, how's it going? Today, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up, download and use the software, and walk you through your first print for this Ender 3 V3 SE 3D printer. So, let's get started. All right, let's first set this thing up. I'm going to be referring to this installation guide or the same one found on their website right here. So when we open up the book, we're going to see it gives us three different ways to download the software necessary to use this printer. I'm going to show you guys how to do that after we set it up. So don't worry about this. All right, let's set this thing up. All right, let's first go over the parts list. These are all the parts we have for our printer, and I'm going to be referring to these screws and parts when I am assembling this. All right, first we're gonna be looking at step one, and we are going to simply be placing the two arms of this printer into the two latches. So we just need to make sure it is orientated the correct way and push them down into those latches. Then we will be using some screws to um, screw it in. All right, now we can grab our screws and these are gonna be the two M three times eight screws. And we are going to put them on the right side of this 3D printer as shown in the manual and screw both of those in. All right, next we are going to be putting it on its side very carefully and using six of the M3 times 14 screws, three on each side to screw in and secure the arms of this 3D printer, referring right here in the manual. So we're gonna get all of these screwed in and then we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, next we're gonna be putting on the screen with three M4 times 10 screws. And we are going to obviously put them in the three open screw holes on the right side of this machine and screw those in. All right, next we are going to put on our filament holder with two M5 times eight screws and we are going to screw that in so that we can hold our filament up all right next we are going to be connecting this cable to the back of the extruder all right so we are going to first run this cable through the back of the machine like shown here in the guide then we are going to plug it into the connection after the connection is plugged in, then we are going to secure it with the FFC clamp that has two screws in it. And we're gonna put that clamp to clamp the connection to make sure that that um, connection obviously does not come off when it is moving up and down left and right with the machine. So after we get that connected, we can move on to our next step. Next, we are going to put the cable through the back of the cable management holder. And we are going to do it by squeezing the cable together so it gets smaller and then just kind of wiggling it into place so that the sticker that says this sticker should be under the clamp is under the clamp and I will show you an example of that here in a second so we are going to simply put this cable through as shown in the guide again right here through that clamp so that it is managed so that when this thing goes up and down left and right um, it has enough room to go all the way up and um, it's nicely and safely clipped in there all right, so here is an example of what it should look like. That sticker is right under that clamp, 
And then also included in this step is plugging in this cord right here. So we're going to take this cord and plug it in the correct way. There's only one way you can do it. Um, we're going to plug it in and then we are going to make sure it's snug and then move on to the next step. All right, the next step in our guide right here is to plug in this little cord in the back of the printer. So we're just going to grab that cord and plug it in like this. Next, we can plug in the display cord. This could have been done earlier when we screwed in the display but I just did it after when I plugged in the rest of the cords. So this step is one of the most important steps in setting up your printer. It is the last and final step before turning it on. And we want to make sure it is in the correct power state. So whether you're using 120 or 240 volts, that is going to matter. If you're using 120 it is going to give you an option for 115 volts and if you're using 240 it is going to give you the option for 230 volts so choose the correct voltage that you have on your outlet that you're using on this printer so i am using a 120 volt outlet for this printer so you can see that i chose 115 volts all right, now you can just double check real quick, make sure everything is plugged in, all screws are tightened, but you can plug it in and turn it on now. All right, now our Ender 3 V3 SE should be set up and working. Now we are going to download the software necessary to print on this machine. All right, so how we get this software is we can jump over to the interwebs and we're going to search up that website that I showed you in the beginning in this guide. Um, there's also a QR code you can follow, but we're just going to go to the website itself and we're going to search Creality and then Software. And then here, it's going to bring us to what kind of printer we have. We're going to go Ender Series. We're going to go V3 SE. And then right here, we have the product manual, which I've been referring to in this video. Firmware updates. And then right here is the slicer, which is the um, software that we are going to be using to print on this machine. So then you can choose whatever version you want for the machine you have download that right here and then we are going to jump into that to um, get our first print all right once we get that software installed it should be an icon like this or you can just search creality print so either way we're going to open up that application and this is what we are going to use you can update it if you want um, but this is what we are going to use to print actual objects. All right, and now let me show you what I mean by you need this software to print it. So you can't just upload any STL file and print it. So for example, this one has some overhangs here and here. So what we need to do is enable um, supports for it. So when we slice the plate and what this does is generate um, some supports for it so that it can print without falling over and messing up. And then we can also unclick this and it would do without supports. What slicing also does is it reinforces the outer walls while making the inner walls thinner so you don't just 100% infill the plastic parts. All right. Now I have shown you how to install the software. Now I'm going to show you how to do your first print from start to finish. So the first thing we want to do is find our SD card and USB drive and plug that sucker in and then plug this into our computer so that we can save our files to it. 
Okay, the first thing we are going to do is find an STL file to print. So my favorite website for this is Thingsverse. They have a bunch of cool free STL files to print. So this articulating raccoon, no supports. That means we don't have to generate any supports for it. This looks like a good first print to me. So what we're going to do is download all files. We're going to save them. And then we're going to go to our downloads. And we are going to extract them. And then we can open it up, or go into files, and it has a multicolored and colored one. We're going to choose the single colored since we're only going to be printing with one color of filament. So we're going to open that up, and it will autom automatically open up in Creality because this is our um, default app to open up STL files. So we can open it up in Creality by just clicking on it if you don't have any other 3d software installed that will open up STL files um, and if you do then just set Crowdy to your default anyways we have our file in here but we cannot just print it like this what we have to do first is slice to plate and what this does like I said before is makes the outer walls thick and the inner walls thin so you don't fill your piece up with a hundred percent plastic wasting a bunch of filament so now this file is ready to send off to our flash drive so we can plug into our printer. So we don't do print print because we're not connected to this printer via internet. We have to actually put the SD card into it. So we're going to go to export plate. And then this USB drive E is the drive that this SD card is on. So you're just going to navigate to the correct drive that this SD card is on and you're going to save the file on that SD card. So we can see I already have a file named raccoon. I'm going to name it, name it to raccoon1. It's probably because I've already printed this file before. So we can see it said saved finished. We can say OK. It'll then show it um, in our local folder. Now we can eject it and plug it in our printer. One last thing we need to do before we put this in our printer is make sure it's set to the correct filament type. So for example, this filament I have right here that I'm printing with is 1.5 millimeter PLA and nozzle temp 190 degrees. So what we're going to do is come up here to filament, click on this edit button, then we can come to filament type, we're going to click PLA, diameter 1.75. And then the min is 190 and the max is 220. So I have it set to 240 so I can actually lower that a bit. So what we're going to do then is save. And then we can then slice our plate and then export it. Now we can eject that USB drive and take that SD card and go over and plug it into our printer. All right, so we can turn our printer on and then the first thing we want to do, especially for our first time using this printer is level it. So we're gonna go to the bottom right hand corner of our screen with the knob and click down and level this bad boy. So this will take about five minutes or so, but we are going to do this to ensure that we have a level surface to print on so our prints don't fail. So we're gonna get this leveled, then move on to the next step. All right, now that leveling is down, we can go back out of that. And then now we are ready to put the filament up. So we can put the filament on the rack and then grab the first piece of filament on that cord and get ready to put it into our printer. So we're going to cut it at a 45 degree angle like shown here. And then we are going to push down this little lever and it's going to open up the hole and we're going to push the filament straight down. And this 
printer has an automatic extruder so it will grab it and extrude it through the first time you print no problem all right so it is almost go time we can plug in that sd card now to the side of our printer and then we can come over to our control panel and click print and then we can scroll down to the file we want to print the one we selected was that raccoon then we can select it do calibration on I like to calibrate it every time I print and then select print then what this would do is of course start our first 3d print and here is a quick time lapse of that whole 3d print so that's it for this video guys a pretty extensive guide showing you how to unbox set up install the software and send your first 3d print to this ender 3 v3 se 3d printer so like i said guys that's it for this video thanks for watching hope this helped somebody set up their new 3d printer and if you could like comment and subscribe because it really helps growing youtube channels like mine so again guys thanks for watching and see you in the next one